Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Prime, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video where my sound is not working for some reason. So let's go to the settings and let's check music. Uncheck. Check. And that didn't work. Hold on. Do I have my setting sounds? Oh, that's what it is. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> it's going through the Oculus because my son, he likes to play VR. Test, test. Test, test, test. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Um, anyhow, it's still Halloween and it's Friday and I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, I have not been recording. And the reason I haven't been recording is because last week I was completely on a business trip. This week, I'm trying to make that business trip worthy of something. So that's what we're doing. Um, building, construction, electricity, water, all that stuff. It's just crazy. So I see something over there, but I, I don't know if it's a, uh, I'm gonna go look, you know, I don't have this uh, curiosity in my head for nothing. <clears throat> Anyhow, uh, I'm glad that we got to play with the void entity last time. And I have some ideas on what I'd like it to do. <laughs> is this Spookwood? Ah, <gasps> it is Spookwood. Is this somebody's? Hello. <gasps> it's nobody's, mine now. It's mine. Look, I found a spook tree. <laughs> I don't know if that counts. Oh goodness. Here we go. All right, let's let's uh, let's claim this real quick. Want to be able to take it home with us. There we go. Give me, give me more. Can I chop that? I bet I can't chop that. That's way too thin. So, come on, chop. And a choppy chop. Oh, I, I'm like, somebody's flying over there. No, it's just the shadow of my uh, my platform. <clears throat> but that's a good thing. Um, so Halloween is on Monday. Is it Monday? Yeah. So you have the weekend to enjoy and hang out and have fun. And then Monday morning, like that, you're going to get excited. You're going to be like, oh, my goodness, it's candy day. And I don't know how many schools allow it, but um, some of them allow you to bring your candy into school the next day. I used to do that, and I realized you shouldn't do that. And the reason you shouldn't do that is because... Should I just sell this off, or am I going to plank this out? I'm, you know what? I'm going to go plank this out. Don't be on my base. Oh, that's not my base. This is my base. Ah, you're good. Okay, stay, 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 stay. Yeah, I do my own sound effects too. Uh oh. There we go. Put that down. Man. So much work for Spookwood. <clears throat> but that's not why we're here. We're here to hunt Spookwood. That's what it's about. My goodness, that is that is pretty. Look at that. Do you see how pretty those are? Oh no. Are you guys stuck in the round? You sure are. Okay. So if you get a piece of wood and it is stuck in the ground, grab your tiny Did somebody die. Did he just reset or something? What happened over there? Huh. I could have sworn I heard a oof. You can't call it the oof sound anymore. Nobody wants to get sued. All right, so do you see the outline that attaches? Here's, here's my thought, okay? This object, the, the green box that is around this box, Defaultio, check its surface and make sure it's not glue. Or if you, you have the ability to check that. I mean, that's that's the way I would fix the uh, this right here. Because if it is glue, that would explain why it welds to parts. Because you moved it and technically it's welded. And that's how it works inside Studio. See that? See? And, I don't know. I, I, I get very uh, <coughs> excited about <laughs> the prospects of the things inside Roblox. Oh, 
Oh, I guess I have to grab it, don't I? Oh, come on. Oh, I stepped on it. Okay, fine. Come here. Get on there. Turn, turn. So what I have to do is I have to do a turn, turn, and then click it one time, and it'll drop out. So, if you like, pretend that this was like halfway in. Place your small brick, turn, turn, and click, and then it thinks that you grabbed it. So the new position is set. Uh, is that a long plank? It was not, but we got that one fixed. Turn, turn. Oh, that's a big turn. Boop. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, I probably shouldn't have waited until dark time. Dang it. Actually. Okay. Should we uh, Should we go check? Tell you what. While we're searching for, for Spookwood, because that's what I'm going to go look for first, we're going to go across to Bob's Shack, or uh, Fancy Furnishings. We're going to go see if I can't find... Um, one of those entities. I want to release one next to uh, the troll. Under the bridge guy. Do, 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 No spook would do day. Can't see any growing naturally. <clears throat> okay, so... <clears throat> Normally, yes, yes, hello, I'm recording. So normally, um, I would give like advice and stuff like that. Oh no, Fancy Furnishings is going to be closed, isn't it? <gasps> Dang it. Dang it. Hold on, can I see on the inside? Yeah, I can see on the inside, that's fine. Hi, buddy. Evil eye rules. I don't know who that is. Uh, normally, I would give some advice and, and like the uh, the old adult adulting portion of this video, but. I don't know that I'm going to do that today. I do have advice. I mean, that's what you guys like is advice and stuff. Um, does this disappear if I walk it outside? Yeah, it does. Okay. Ready to go? Oh, did you need back in? I'm sorry. Here, I'll get the door for you. There you go. There you go. Door's open. Or not. That's fine. All right, we're gonna go across to Bob Shack. I'm gonna go take a look at the peninsula. Peninsula hasn't changed much. What's this sign over here? What is this sign? Oh, that's a tree. <laughs> it's like a new sign. Do not enter. Would that be too clickbait? If I were to like post this picture and be like, what's this sign? Yeah, that's too clickbait. I'm not doing that. I might do that. Who knows? What? Tell me in the comments below. What did I do? <laughs> oh, I like how the glow off Bob Shack is like looking good, Bob. Actually, I don't need these. I've got some. <laughs> Walked into Bob's shop, messed up his shelving, and left. Like a true Robloxian. The way that you speak to someone, the way that you treat them, nobody will ever remember what you said, okay? Like, you, you could say some inspiring, earth-moving, life-changing words, and verbatim, they're not going to remember it. Not unless you're, like, doing a speech or motivational or whatever. But one-on-one -on -one interactions... People won't remember what you said, but they will definitely remember how you made them feel. So the way that you speak to people is extremely important. 
okay? So, if you're only communicating in memes, because that's all you've ever watched growing up, and that's the way you speak, um, a lot of adults don't know what that means. <clears throat> Here's the, the funny thing. Because I stay in this world of internet and memes and, and social media, I know what the memes mean. So it's funny when, like, my son says a meme and I get it and I laugh and then my wife is like, what, what's it mean? It's just, you can tell. But I've noticed that most 13-year-olds, no, no offense, most 13-year-olds only speak in memes. Or Fortnite. Or Minecraft. Like, that's, that's a lot, the majority of people, the majority of kids. <sighs> And maybe that's just culture. I mean, I'm pretty sure I did the same thing whenever I was 13. And when I think about, like, when I think back to me as a kid, a lot of the stuff that my kids do, it's pretty much on par. I mean, it's the same. And I was a weird kid. I was, I was super weird. Is that a tree? Hold on. Kind of bring it in view right there or is that an ice tree oh i cannot see it from here if it were daytime i'd be able to tell the color and whatnot but uh i don't know if that's a spook tree or a sinister tree or if it's just an ice tree but we are definitely gonna have to go check it out aren't we is there something about like trying to hunt spookwood that just enthralls you it like it like takes over you're like another server another server another server because that hasn't happened this year <laughs> to be honest i'm tired okay and there's there's been times in the past where i'm like oh i don't feel good and oh i might i might not record today i might not record today but within the last couple of months it's just been rough and it's because I'm doing so much other stuff in my life. And it's because I'm spending a lot more time offline. You know, I'm, I might be getting older. It's, it might be time to hang up the old headphones, put the microphone away. And I know, I know a lot of you are, no, go, don't stop recording. That's not the point. My point is I'm tired. I'm tired right now. And here's the thing, I am not done. Whoa, we find a car. Hello, car. Hold on. Why did you drop down here, car? What is your problem? Huh. Oh, shoot. Am I going to get back up there? Am I going to be able to get back up there? Oh, no. Okay. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. Back it up. Back it up, Jim. Oh, by the way, if you guys haven't seen it, Mangry is like doing a 3D print on live stream of uh, my avatar, my Roblox avatar. Which I don't think there's any copyright laws against that. I mean, really? You made it down all of them and flipped it the last second. Ooh, what's that light down there? Oh, new cave. I'm just kidding. That's the uh, Squidward painting cave. Which used to be just a cave cave. And then he added the Squidward stuff to it. So. Please don't remove the uh, blueprint glitch. I just remembered why we like it so much. We can save our trucks and not have to spend another, was it $308 to just spawn another truck? Not that it's expensive. I mean, a couple of trees and I'd get that money back. It's just annoying, that's all. And it's a good glitch to have, you know? That's that's the people's glitch. Well, that's what we're gonna call it, the people's glitch. And it'll be celebrated amongst all Robloxians who have ever entered the Lumberland realm. That right there, oh, I thought, and it wasn't. <clears throat> I know, it, you were like, spook tree! It's, it's not a spook tree. <laughs> Call on me, call me, call on me. 
Is it is it Valerie? I think that's the original song. Calling me Valerie. But instead, we got an awesome techno song out of it back in the 90s. <laughs> that's what I should do for Halloween. Get some neon pink shorts, tank top, headband, some uh, striped socks, and some old Adidas. Just a big, big boom box walking around and just playing that song. What do you think? No? Maybe? All right. Mm. You guys make fun, but you know what? I had stripy socks growing up. I'm just saying. And yes, I did the skating thing. I did roller skates. And then in my teen years, when I got into high school, I started doing the uh, the old aggressive inline skates. Mm -hmm. I had my uh, K2 Backyard Bobs. That was the first set of uh, uh, aggressive inline skates I ever had. And they're roller blades. Let's just be honest. They're roller blades. But the thing about these blades is they have, um, they have grind plates and smash plates and stuff like that. And it's, it's basically to grind off rails, go off half pipes, stuff like that. I don't see any TNT. Do you guys? Ah, I see TNT. TNT. TNT, call on me. TNT. <clears throat> Or is it dynamite? Should I say dynamite or should I say TNT? I think if I say TNT, everybody knows what I'm talking about. But if I say dynamite, well, people still know what I'm talking about. So I guess it really doesn't matter. Is it interchangeable? <gasps> is there somebody out there in the world that's smarter than me that can tell me the difference in between TNT and dynamite? Leave a comment down below if you want. You don't have to. By the way, did you guys see Jack's girlfriend try and play uh, Roblox Lumber Tycoon 2? It was cute, you know? Like, she tried. And little Jack. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> little bit bigger explosion than I had planned on. Alright. Looking through the land of white for the black tree of spook. The amazing spook tree. Amazing sinister. It's gonna be here somewhere. Watch, it'll it'll be underneath the snow. And only its dump. That's why we're never gonna find it. I can't find it. What happens if you take the void and you drop it in the uh, smuggler's cave? Is it smugglers? Burglars? You know, the the secret underground world where you go and get the Rukiaks? I can't wait to see. I wonder if the special Pride, like the special thing does something different on Halloween the the void entity I'm gonna have to buy like 20 of them And if you open it on any other day except Halloween it becomes the entity But if you open it on the day of <clears throat> That's a spook that's a spook tree right there. I found one yes! I'm coming for you little one. I'll be right there don't move. Don't move. I, I see you. You're moving. Code, why do you drive backwards? Because without rearview mirrors, I do wonderful. Yeah. I just drive until I hit something. And I'm like, oh, I probably should have looked first. Oh, no. Uh, there we go. There we go. Oh, 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 dang it. Dang it, I fell down. Okay. I do this. <clears throat> Hold on. Turn, turn, turn. I'm in the wrong seat. That's why that's not going to work. All right. Turn, 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 turn. Now, if I chop this, will it keep growing? Hmm. Do I need to edit this video and do a little bit of a time lapse? Here, let's hit it one time. And let's watch. Will it change? Oh, 
It grew. It grew and I've chopped it. Glorious. Glorious is the day. I found you, my little one. You thought you could hide from me? Not through cold primate's eyes. <laughs> no, I'm excited. I'm like super excited now. Like, yay! We got this book. What? We got this book. What? I found another because I found one, but it wasn't recorded and nobody saw. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, and a quick reminder, if you do play on Halloween day, all right, that's 24 hours of pure spookiness. I think the increased rate is 300%. It might be just plus 300% of whatever percentage it was, but it's a lot more. So Halloween day, get your spook wood on, get your sinister wood on. It's going to happen. We're going to have a lot of them. Now, while I'm sitting here, do I see another? And it is possible. It is possible to have two in one server. Cursed. Well, I guess because I already picked up some spook wood over there. So that means spook wood was already chopped once. So this is the second tree. Hmm. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm probably not going to wait for the entire thing to uh, to go here. I'll take another chop and then I'm just going to sit here and talk because we still have like nine minutes left of the day of the video itself. And I, I really am. I truly am sorry for not recording more normally on normal hours. But I think this is the way the channel is going to go for quite some time. And in the event that the channel comes back to normal status cool um but i don't see that happening i see this channel just kind of staying where it's at me enjoying myself and you guys having fun and there'll be more fans to come along and there'll be more fans who leave and it just it happens so what come what does it say come what may you know i will love you until my dying days. You know the song, right? Maybe you don't know the song. Oh, <gasps> you don't know the song. No. That's fine. You don't have to know the song. Basically, the world is exactly the way it's supposed to be. Okay? And I truly believe in that. And a lot of you are going to be like, oh, Code, what about this? And what about that? And you're going to give me like horrible examples like school shootings and abortions and stuff that we probably shouldn't talk about on YouTube because I'll get a monetary strike or something like that. But here's the thing, all of it, I'm, I'm telling you, everything that happens, it happens for a reason. And I truly believe that because without my mother passing away, and I know this is gonna hit a lot of you hard, without my mother passing away, I would have never met Liz and I would have never had two amazing kids that I now thoroughly enjoy and you wouldn't have a code primate you would not have this channel so am I sad that my mother passed away yes do I feel cheated that she passed away at such a young age yes do I feel like it happened for reasons that are way beyond my knowledge Yes, because <laughs> here's the thing. A lot of people worry about death and people are like, oh, I don't want to die or, oh, I'm getting too old and I don't want to die. Nobody ever worries about that time that was happening before you were born. Like, wait, ooh, whoa, whoa. Now we're getting into some deep thought stuff, right? Because if you're worried about dying, then you should have been worried about being born. But the thing is, life is crazy like that. And you can see it inside the world and inside the way things are. A lot of people will say, the world is chaos. And other people say, the world is structured. And I say it's both. I say it's created with chaos and structure. And a lot of people are like, what are you talking about? And look, hey, for example, uh, if you watch the earth, okay, and watch a field of grain, and if you watch the chaos that comes from the wind whipping the little trees around and stuff like that it's it's purely random it's the variables could be in 
impossibly big yet. Every single one of those atoms that sticks together from the wind, every single one of those grains of rice or grains of wheat, they're programmed. <laughs> oh no, Code, you're talking about program. They are. Their DNA, the way they react, the way physics in, in, impacts them, the way they've turned into uh, a little piece of code that is going to drop and reproduce and create more of the same thing. All life falls in that. Because here's the thing, if you want, and I don't remember who said this, if you want to make an apple pie from scratch, you must first invent the universe. Does that make sense? No? Okay. So if you want to make an apple pie from scratch, how are you going to get the apples? Yeah, well, you're going to have to get them from a, a, a store, right? And those apples come from a tree. And that tree had to grow and had to mature from a sapling that came from a seed. Do you see what I'm getting at? Where'd the seed come from? And if you trace it all the way back, you could you could argue things like, well, evolution and changes in exactly. Exactly. If you try and use that as your argument, I'm going to say thank you for proving my point because that's exactly what I was just talking about. Like that, if you follow it back, and it sounds insane. It sounds like I'm sitting here just being an insane person. Like, oh God, code's gone crazy. No, that's that's truly how I feel. That's how I've always believed is the world is exactly the way it's supposed to be. And you do have choices. You have choices on doing exploits or not doing exploits. And it's your choice. But there's also consequences to your actions and reactions. So by all means, if you are an exploiter and you go exploit, don't be sad when you get banned or caught. Or in some cases, because this can get serious sometimes jail time but here's the thing if you did that and you do go to jail you were supposed to <laughs> so without me rambling on for too much longer because i know you guys do get bored if i'm not actually playing but you like sitting here listening to my words or maybe you're not even watching the video right now maybe you're you're doing something else maybe you're doing spook wood hunting you know and that's could be true is that a tower or is that another tree? Ah, it's another tower. Dang it. Um, I had a point. I was, I was trying to make a point and I completely forgot what that point was. So, yeah, I'm good. Shall we, uh, shall we go ahead and chop this down? I mean, I was gonna wait a little while, kind of let it grow, but I mean, I don't, I don't have that much time on the video, so I'll just do this. I'll push and hold. We'll chop this whole thing down. Oh, my sound is working. I was worried for a second. I looked over and I saw it muted. My Logic Cam has a microphone on it. That's what I use. A Logic Cam 940 or something like that. Anyhow, it's an older camera. I should probably invest in a, a newer one. Mm, excuse me. That little piece, I'm not worried about that. Mm, we got our spook wood. I am extremely happy. I'm I'm thrilled. This is amazing. Hee <laughs> Boom boom. And I kept it. Nice. So drive this home. We'll plank it out and then uh, I'll call the video. Call it. Whoa! That's the wrong way. Let's go back the other way. Oh, 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 oh. Almost missed my turn. I do like how this back path is kind of set up. Like it's it's kind of like a path, but not really. That's a big moon. Well, that is a big moon. Hold up. Why did that thing look so big? Dude, that is massive. Does it always look that big? Did something change? Tofatio, did you change the moon pattern? No! Somebody had blocked my way. You know what? That's fine. I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to walk this back. And we'll walk it back together. 
What? I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I think my kids are arguing in the background. Which is exactly the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh. Jump, jump, jump. Call on me. Oh, we're at 30 minutes. No! My time is over. But that's okay. <sighs> and here's the thing. I know that it would be better if I were to record every single day. It's just, it's not going to happen, guys. I've just got way too much stuff on my plate right now to uh, try and come in here and record every single day. And it takes a lot of work. I'm not going to lie. It's been rough to try and drag myself into the seat just to record Roblox. Now, I'm thinking about playing um, Cave Refinery, which would be great, but I wanna wait until after this Halloween is over. After that, I'll, I'll jump in there and I'll play a few rounds and we'll, we'll actually start playing Refinery. So, you guys okay with that? You good with that? I am. Um, Jack asked me today, he's like, hey, what do you think of Refinery Caves? And I'm like, love. So, for those of you who are so mad that I made fun of those developers because I said it was a stolen game, it's my opinion, and I'll go delete your comment because honestly, it looked stolen. I played a lot of them. I played a lot of fake lumbers. And you know what? You're not going to diss me for my, my belief, for my opinion, especially on my channel. Oh, oh, I should probably just not read the comments sometimes, <clears throat> but it doesn't always happen. So, and I did apologize. I mean, we, whenever I played with uh, Bunny, right? It's a good game. It's really good. Okay. Here's the thing. I don't know if it's stolen because I don't get to see the source code, but I'm also not going to sit here and take somebody being like, you can't say it's stolen. Sure it can. I could say this game's stolen. I could say that axe right there. Look at this. See that axe? That's not the original axe. The original axe was the, the Abraham Lincoln axe. The axe of vampires. And it's inside the Roblox store. So guess what? This game's stolen. Is it really? No. Because inside the Roblox store, you're allowed to use whatever you want, right? And if somebody went into the Roblox store, you'll be able to find a whole bunch of Lumber Tycoon 2 stuff, models, the axes, candy bars, like it's it's in there, just waiting. But that's it. Th that's that's it. That's because it was stolen in 2017. Roblox Lumber Tycoon 2 was stolen. So I'm rambling at this point. Um, yes. Yes. Why are you knocking on my door? I'm still recording too. I need help making help so bad. <laughs> okay. I'm finishing up, so I'll be right out there. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Prime. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of videos like a good YouTuber does. And don't forget to go check out Refinery Caves. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. <laughs> Outro. David, happy Halloween.